Good day, bloggers. We're on to chest today, and as you'll see, it's all about uh, having L shapes. So we eliminate the shoulders from the exercise and just isolate the chest muscle or pec. Away we go. Okay, folks, now we're on to a, a rack press to eliminate the shoulder. So we're going to push off from the bottom end. As you can see, there's L shapes. And then each time we let the bar rest onto the rails and then push off again to eliminate that sticking point from here and up and improve your flat pitch. So get the bar over across the center of your chest and push straight up to the ceiling. And away we go. And down. Let it rest. Push up. No CL shapes. We're on to dumbbell press, same idea. We'll make L shapes off the bottom of the bench and then push up over the center of your chest where you want to work. So, now, up. L shape. So as you go, to the top, apex, squeeze, control, L shape. This will be an incline press. As you can see, it's flat, but we just did. Now we're going to incline it up. Incline looks up. The more it goes up like this, the more shoulder it works. So now we want it down here to work what we call the upper shelf. As so. Kick up. Press. L shapes. same bench position, but we're going to do a fly, which will put that separation on the upper part of your pec. So it's like hugging a tree. So I come down, nice and wide, squeeze, notice the bend in the elbows. And squeeze. We're going to do a flat bench fly, same movement as an incline fly, and you want the big circle movement. Hug in a tree, and squeeze. And notice if the weights ever come straight down, it's over the center of the chest. L's, circles, and squeeze. Be the pec deck like we just did on the flat bench with dumbbells. Now we're going to use a machine. So we want these parallel with the body. Grab it. Where your hands end up, this should be the center of your chest. Again, elbows are bent. Notice how the circle in. Squeeze. Sit straight up. Then squeeze. Push off with the palms of your hands. Initiate the movement there. Now we're back onto the flat bench, and this is one of my uh, little routines. We're going to do a 4 4 8. So, 4 press, 8 press, 8 fly. So, remember the movement L shapes, 4 of those. Dismount. Half the weight, back up, eight more, L shape, squeeze, center of the chest, and remember the flies, eight of those also, and squeeze. This move is now called 21s, and if you remember with the bicep 21s, it was a bottom, upper, and full uh, movements. So here we go. So we get seven. Bottom half. Notice it. Upper half. Halfway down. Seven of those. And seven full ones. That's the 20 ones. Nice routine. Now this one we call it the scoop with dumbbells. We'll do it also with cable. But it works the bottom half of the chest, so I'll come up with like a scoop of water. 
Yeah. Notice how the elbows are parallel? Right there. Squeeze it and release. And we're back onto the scoop movement, but with cable. So find the center of the apparatus. Take a step forward. Ooh. And again, hands in front. Scoop up. And scoop. Always a slight bend in the elbow. And release. Now, same apparatus, but our hands are obviously up higher. And now we're going to get a cable cross around. So, find the center again. Step forward. This time your hands come center. Notice how the center of the chest. So it's a scoop. And squeeze. Just like the pec deck. But with cable. And squeeze. Now to finish up with a good chest uh, workout, exercise, it's your standard push-up. The harder version of the standard push-up is off the bone suit ball. So you got to steady it because it's obviously going to be unstable, but then it gives more 